Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here, friends. Uh, today's topic is a topic about a new approach to cure HIV. Uh, it could be prophylactic as well as it could be uh, curative. It's called as tips. I'm not talking about the money that you pay for good services. I'm talking about therapeutic interfering particles. And uh, this was brought to my attention by uh, one of our uh, subscribers, uh, Flavio. And uh, hi, Flavio, this is for you. So let's get started. Welcome back friends. The question is what are TIPS, therapeutic interfering particles? These are engineered biological agents often made from parts of a virus's own genetic material that work to inhibit the virus's ability to replicate within an infected cell. They are similar to naturally occurring defective interfering particles or DIPs, uh, but with one crucial difference. Uh, tips are designed to spread more effectively within the host with a reproductive ratio greater than one. This means that tips can propagate within the body at a rate that allows them to outcompete the actual virus. So how do tips work? Uh, tips cannot replicate on their own because they lack some necessary genetic material. However, when they infect a cell already infected by the virus, that is super infection, they can borrow the replication machinery of the virus to reproduce. Now, as a layperson, I would say that uh, adeno-associated viruses exhibit something similar, like they cannot reproduce by themselves. They need uh, the adenovirus to be present so that they can replicate. That's my understanding. So this is something like that. So it's very conditional. They cannot replicate until the uh, original virus is there, uh, which they are uh, using uh, resources with. And uh, uh, tips compete with the wild type virus for the resources inside the cell, like proteins needed for viral replication. This competition slows down the replication of the actual virus, reducing the overall viral load in the body. Tips are designed to spread from cell to cell effectively. For tips to be successful, each infected cell must produce more than one tip infected cell, uh, ensuring that the tips continue to spread throughout the host, reducing the virus's ability to cause the disease. And tips have a high genetic barrier to resistance, meaning that the virus is much less likely to evolve ways to escape or resist the effect of tips. Unlike other antiviral strategies that might uh, stimulate a broad immune response, Tips directly interfere with the virus's replication process, making them highly specific and less likely to cause unwanted immune reactions. Applications uh, of TIP is that um, TIPs can be used both uh, prophylactically, that is to prevent infection, and therapeutically, that is to treat an existing infection. They have been explored in the context of viruses like HIV and SARS-CoV-2, COVID, uh, and um, the difference between the DIPs uh, and TIPS is that while both TIPS and DIPS interfere with the viral replication, TIPS are specifically engineered to ensure they can propagate within the host, making them more effective as a treatment option. In summary, TIPS are a promising antiviral strategy that hijacks a virus's own replication machinery to suppress its spread, offering a potentially powerful tool in the fight against viral infections, including HIV. Friends, I have reached out to Gladstone Institutes uh, and requested them if they could uh, allow someone from that institute to interview with our channel to explain to us how TIPS is working and uh, where they are in the journey of converting this science into technology that is basically uh, a cure or a prophylactic for HIV. So where is the journey? Have they begun clinical trials and preclinical trials? Where are they and when can we expect that to come uh, and become available to patients? Uh, that's, that's the question I have put there and I'm hoping to hear back from them. And if we can get someone to interview, uh, I'll definitely uh, bring them to your channel and uh, it will enlighten all of us about the progress of tips in the fight against HIV and other diseases. With that, my friends, I would like to bring this video to an end. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.